Go I just want to first get a feel. I think that's the perfect size anyway. Okay. Here we have it. Are we ready to learn the frog now? Mm -hmm. Or do we need another minute? I'll give you guys another minute if you need it. And that's done. You're going to get going, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my battery's almost dead. Oh, no. I just put rechargeable batteries in it, and it's oh. almost dead. Oh. It's that live viewfinder, nice. man. Well, he yeah. kills batteries like that. He's very cute. He's not perfect. He is perfect because he's never done this before and he's What's great. That? He's a recognizable as a duck. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, Steve, would you like a classifying horn? Oh. <laughs> Jeez. That it is a on a claw. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it up. Okay. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, did you want to come and see? You want to come in closer? You can come right here if you want on the other side of me. I don't mind. Okay, so here we have. Are you rolling, babe? Yeah. We've been really? Chatting like Kathy. Go ahead. No, yeah, chatting Kathy. Okay, I would say this is probably about a nickel in diameter or a quarter. Whatever. Use your judgment. Okay, start with a ball, of course. And just like the head of the duck, I'm going to just roll. We're going to taper one of the ends a little bit. Leaving it nice and plump on one top, and then I like to flatten the the fatter end a little bit. So this is the basic shape you're looking for. Sure, the camera. It's almost like see, like the rubber ducky head, but now we're flipping it upside down. Okay, like so. Okay, so now, so I like the curve. See how it's got a little bit of a curve there too as well. So, make sure he can sit. So my fingers are a little sticky there. Okay, so now he's sitting. We'll get ourselves. Oh, don't move, don't move. Okay, okay, here we go. Got ourselves a little, I don't know what kind of tool this is. Yeah, it's kit. It came in the gum piece yeah. kit. I'm just gonna use like the like the ball and kind of. I guess a ball tool will do the same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna make two little spots where his eyes are gonna go. Just two little wells. Boom boom. We're gonna hold his eyes. Okay. You might squish it down, so you might have to go and kind of elongate that body again. There you have. As long as you have a couple little nesting wells. <laughs> so they go right on the very top. Yep, very top. I like the oh, frog so to have like big no. Google eyes right on top of his head. Okay, like so. Okay, so you can take a Dresden tool or you can take a Wilton wheel, straight wheel. And I like to do a little mouth. So I'm gonna make the mouth right along this edge, this top, that edge, and just right across. Hmm. Well, it's not as straight as I'd like, but. I'm actually just going to go in there with the Dresden tool and open it up a little bit. Okay. I also like, you can use the tip of the toothpick, but I also like to use the Dresden tool. I take the pointy edge of the Dresden tool, like the beveled edge, and I line it up with the line of his mouth. And I just like make like little, I don't know what you want to call those. Uh, dimples, I guess, dimples. kind of. Kind of. Oh, okay. Oh, what a difference that little. Yeah. yeah, I know, eh? Oh, wrong way. Okay. You can even sometimes, like with your thumb, kind of tuck it up there. Okay. <laughs> so there you have his little mouth and his little dimples. So you just put it in. Yeah. Just, like, it Cause um, the straight line. I take. You see how like the it's got like a beveled yeah. edge. It's yeah. Oh, okay. And then I take it and I line that uh, edge up with the mouth and I just stick it right in the oh, corner. Okay. okay. Okay, so now we're going to make his legs and his flippers. Now for his legs, take a small little piece. This is again judgment. Sometimes I don't get it right first time. A little bit smaller than a pea size or roughly a pea size. And it's probably a good idea to take two pieces and get um, a 
same size. Same size, yeah, exactly. So the legs match, because sometimes that's the worst. You've made one arm and then you can't get the second one to match and you wish you'd only and, like done this step first. Yeah, I'd say that's good enough. Okay, so now what I do is I make an elongated carrot shape again, keeping one end nice and fat. That's gonna be like his thigh. And this is gonna be his where his flipper is gonna attach. So I basically just fold that in half, like so. Just like that. Okay? Repeat the step. So it's about one and a half. I would inches? Yeah, say about one, one inch, one one inch to one, yeah. Roughly. At least an inch. Okay? And again, it all really depends yeah. on the proportions of yeah. your, your frog. So just again fold that in half. And just lay it off to the side. So now, I'll use my finger to There it is, right here. Okay. A little bit of water. So I take, you want to have his tapered end facing out, like so. And then the fat, his thigh part facing his backside, okay? So what I do to make it easy, because this is very hard to handle without warping it, just dab a bit of water. And then what I do is I literally just kind of boop. <laughs> it's easier that way. Oh yeah. Just like that. And uh, okay. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's a little crooked here, just let me fix it. I'll just turn them around and get them. I made one leg a little bit bigger than the other, but that's okay. Okay. So there we have his legs and his body shape. Okay. And now we're going to make his flippers now. So just take a small piece of green, a little bit of icing sugar, so, so it doesn't stick as you roll it. So you want to pick the teardrop cutter that's going to be proportionate to your frog. I'm thinking that medium is a little, I might go with the small. So I'm gonna go small, oops. Do I have it? Okay, so now what I do is I take, this is a tip 12. You're more than welcome to come and borrow it. And I like to cut out two little notches to make his toes. So there's one, and there's another. Okay, I'll show that to you again. Everybody's car is safe. Yay. Except for this person, this 241THX who. Ha ha ha, that's us. I know what you're doing. <laughs> what is this? Our parking guy's not that intelligent, so is this? Is there a make that goes with this? A Lincoln. A Lincoln. A blue okay, Lincoln. I didn't give you my An name. Oldsmobile. Lincoln. Is this like one of those Cadillac SUV things? Yeah, it came with an old man. It's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> It's not an SUV though, it's just a, a Lincoln Town Car, right? Yeah, pretty pimp. Okay, so here we have his little flippers. I put, <laughs> I put the water on there. So now, just give me a second. One, you kind of want to make sure that his legs are lining up with the flippers. Otherwise it'll look like my cousin. <laughs> Uh, okay, but you see how he wants to kind of like topple backwards, so you're gonna have to like use a little something to prop him up there. You can, like, just so he's going poof. <laughs> he's thinking really hard. But there we go, just to keep him stable. Okay, so there we have oh, his so general good. body shape. Oh my word. Yes. Oh Super my! Oh, I got tins so for you. Perfect. So, no, tins for you. Cake pans for you? Not for me. Square pan? You? Okay, so now with a bit of white gum paste, we're gonna make his eyes. I'll go get it. And these again are all proportionate to the frog that you've made. So I like to make them like super huge and googly because that's just my style. So a little bit of water in those little wells that we've made. 
That's just the big one? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, they are. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's what I mean. I drop it in and I'll take a step back and, you know. No, but that's cute. It really makes And then I even like to make alive. one smaller. Yeah. You know, and make Animate it. Even... Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> right? That's awesome. That's that cute or what? That's yeah. super cute. Super cute. You oh. know. Right on. <laughs> high five, dude. They are performing. No, no, no high fives on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got some black stain here that I think are like I, I really like using these lately as the little eyeballs, just specifically on my frog. Do we have? Oh no, I've got my stain here. Even make the eyeballs jumping You you <laughs> that'd be a little crazy. <laughs> you can use black uh, gum paste or fond for the eyes. You don't have to use the stamens, but I like how small and narrow they get, and the fact that they can kind of bubble up. You don't have to shove them right in there. So just uh, I'll give everyone one. And we'll just trim off the little bobbles. And uh, I have to turn him around just for this. So we want to make his eyes like really fun, right? So one there. That's so awesome. Oh my god, that's cute. That's what I there we have them. Um, oh, <laughs> how's that? So okay. Right. Now, oh, does anybody have just a little smidgen of pink? I I can make some up I real do. quick. I think oh, I don't know. Know. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. I just need a little smidge just to make a ton here. Okay, everybody. <laughs> you get it first. Here we go. Oh, she beat two at hundred. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just a little bit. Here you go. I only needed like that's what I mean. Just so small. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay, for the tongue. So we're gonna make just a long sausage, very narrow. And I like to curl up his tongue. It's kind of fun. Again, you know, me and my whimsical flares. So, so I'm just using my thumb and forefinger here then. Okay. And with a little bit of water, you wanna tuck the tongue into that crease that we've created for his mouth. So we'll pick up his tongue. This is hard to do because it is so fine. Okay. And then I like to use my dressing tool to kind of like solidify that, hey, this is coming out of his mouth. <laughs> and there you have my little froggy. Okay. Do you guys want to see? I don't know. Do you guys see? Show the camera, babe. Uh, show the camera. Yeah, pick it up in your hand and bring it a little bit closer for me. Good. Yeah, it's good. Good? Okay. All right, so there you have it, ladies. Now go show me your best frog. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll come right over and give you a hand, okay? I have some extra green here if anybody needs it. After this, we'll go on to the shampoo bottle next, okay? Tell me it's easy.